Welcome to Happiest Places Home, the interior design channel. I took a look at Pottery Barn's new inventory and I handpicked a few items that I think are just so beautiful that it was really worth it to try to find a dupe. But like I always say about Pottery Barn, there's always something just a little extra special about their items where it's very hard to duplicate. But I did my best and I think I did a wonderful job for you here today. We will save a lot of money and get those gorgeous Pottery Barn looks. We're exploring Pottery Barn's china and faux florals furniture for the dining room and living room and the bedroom and then also just such a beautiful quilt and then my very favorite item the new console which can be turned into wine cabinets let's jump in Pottery Barn's Desiree Floral Embroidered Pillow. It's $79.50 for the pillow cover. And I found a dupe for it. It doesn't have as much color woven in, uh, but it's a great price compared to the $79.50 for $10. This cover is also made of linen, so that's ideal for the $10.18. This Madon velvet pillow reminds me so much of one that I used to own. And now I'm sad that it's not still around. But um, this look is something that reminds me of, say, the mid-2000s, early 2000s, if your home was traditional. And I love the fact that this design has come back. So it's meant to look like a rug. Now, I found this wonderful dupe on Amazon. It's only $9 for the pillow cover, and the price of the Pottery Barn, the $39.50, is also just the pillow cover. So I think this is a nice match. It's, it's a very decent dupe. Pottery Barn is known for having high quality quilts, and this is a quilt that they're featuring heavily uh, in their new collection. So it's an okra color and a really pretty pattern. The fact that um, it's reversible doesn't really mean much because it looks very similar on either side, but the dupe that I found for it really is a reversible quilt, and it has a gorgeous velvet on the opposite side. So you could really change the look of your room. Now, if you have the budget to buy the Pottery Barn version, absolutely do that. I bought one years ago. It's in ideal condition, perfect, and I have it in a guest room, even though I had it on my bed before. And it's just wonderful. It holds up in, in the wash, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, if you wanna save the dollars, this quilt from Kohl's is a wonderful option. Pottery Barn's new table lamp, the Kensington, is $249. It really does have a beautifully modern look, but still can work in a, a modern farmhouse home. Now, I found a dupe for it. It's the Mercer 41 Madeline. It's spelled, Madeline is spelled differently for some reason, but it's $79. I think it's a very close match and a great way to save some money. Pottery Barn has a new Lazy Susan model, and it's this one, the turned wood version. It has a very beautiful light colored wood on the outside and then marble on the top. Marble is so durable, by the way, and Pottery Barn's is exceptionally so. So I found a dupe for it for $30 versus the $129, and I think it's really pretty. So I have two options, actually. There's a completely marble one from Target as well. Pottery Barn's Lyon dining table is a work of art. So this is perfect for modern farmhouse. It could work in an abundance of styles, but it is quite pricey and I found a dupe for it. It's the Wayfair Birch Lane Chianti table. So the shape is not identical, but the color of the wood is and the feel of it. Now the Pottery Barn is very wide. So if you put the inserts in, you can have quite a number of people sitting at your table. And the dupe that I have is shorter than it. And I did the measurements and it, you're not going to lose a seat. You're just not going to have as much elbow room on the ends. Pottery Barn is showing that gorgeous table with the Sausalito dining chair. I adore these and this shape has been around for centuries, 
but their take on it is really pretty. I found one with upholstered seats. They also offer one with upholstered seats. I like theirs without the upholstery, but if you wanna be a little more comfortable, then I guess the upholstery would be the way to go. But I can get you six chairs for $349. I sound like a game show, but that was a crazy good price for so many chairs and to get that Pottery Barn look. I love it. I also found a pair at Macy's. It comes out to 108 per chair, which is also a fantastic deal. And I just love the idea of getting it from Macy's because it's probably being shipped from the US. Uh, but these are really beautiful too. And I think they match the color of the Sausalito a little bit better. I'm finding the color of Pottery Barn's Faux Hydrangea Bundle, the new one for $49.50. That color is exceptional. I don't love faux florals in my home, but sometimes you have to. I mean, my mother was always allergic to flowers. You never know. For whatever reason you're doing it, if you are getting these, I found you a dupe. For $16, Home Depot is offering this hydrangea and peony uh, floral arrangement. I think it's meant to be a Christmas product because it's offered by the company Vickerman, which specializes in Christmas. This product from Amazon, it's a $14 silk hydrangea arrangement. I feel like for a lot of homes, people are having less color. If that's what you like, I think this is a wonderful deal. And I like the idea that it's silk. I adore the heirloom stoneware at Pottery Barn. So this is something new that they're featuring and it reminds me of Martha Stewart stoneware. She always had a collection that she would pick up at tag sales and it was a beautiful collection on shelves and in hutches and things like this. So this reminds me so much of that and um, that's a compliment. So these are actually a decent deal, but I found some cheaper offerings as well. Ikea is offering something with a very similar look for $69. You have an 18 piece set while Pottery Barn has 16. Um, I still think the Pottery Barn looks higher quality and more beautiful and it's not that much more, but if you are looking to save and also um, want something that you're not going to feel like you can have to, have to be too precious with, I think this Ikea is wonderful. And it has um, serving platters that have an interesting pattern. Those are new at Ikea. Elroy and Bach has a similar pattern as well. Theirs looks a touch more modern to me. And Villaroy and Bach is a name that is known for uh, China. So it kind of makes more sense to buy theirs if you think of it that way. But I still am showing you here that the Pottery Barn heirloom stoneware is still an excellent deal. The Prescott Cane Bed is actually a decent price at $14.99. I did find an alternative for $632 at Overstock. Now this is made of cane as well, but the difference is it has pleather behind you. I actually think that would be quite a bit more comfortable than just having the cane behind you if you like to sit up in bed propped up with pillows and you know on your laptop, iPad, phone, whatever you do. There really is nothing exactly like Pottery Barn's Kensington Metal Round Chandelier. So it's a new product that they're offering. It looks beautiful in designs and it's 60 inches wide, which is massive. So Pottery Barn's sister store, West Elm, is offering a slimmed down version at 46 inches. Uh, the Pottery Barn has a little bit of gold accents or bronze possibly. Um, so this is a little different, but there would be a savings. I also found this at Wayfair, a $260 dupe, but it doesn't have those super modern and cool lampshades that are so popular right now. Guess what, I found some for you. Ballard Design has these chandelier shades for $26. If you got six of them for this discount light from Wayfair, you'd be spending $416 total for the whole design. If you do have a, a chandelier that would make sense with these shades, this would be a cool update to your chandelier for now. And I don't think these will stay in style forever, obviously, but it would be a little modern twist on whatever you have going right now. 
the moment that I saw Pottery Barn's new console system, it's called Modern Farmhouse, it comes in pieces. This combination is a wine cabinet and it has an adorable little wine fridge space for that. There's a particular cabinet that's made to fit the wine fridge in. I just think this is so beautiful and I normally hate consoles, so this must be really special. But I did some research and I found a dupe for it. I formulated a dupe for it, but it's never exactly the same. This one is much more beautiful. But before I show you my dupe, let's take a look at this. So it was $8,640 for this particular combination. I don't know whether that surprises you that it's more expensive or less expensive than you thought. It's a little less than I thought. I still don't think it's affordable. So let me show you my dupe. So there's one last look at it. I came up with this combination from Ikea. These are the world famous Billy bookcases. It's an Ikea bestseller. And then there are Oxburg uh, cabinets that I put on either side. And then um, I found a wine insert from Home Depot. This is much more flimsy than the Pottery Barn thing going on, but it's two trellises that you install, and I wouldn't know how to do that, but apparently it's simple based on the reviews, and it's so affordable. These come in a two-pack. You would need four of the two-packs for the design that I just put together. Each two-pack is 11, I'm sorry, $111.81. So the Billy combination that I came up with is 815, and I'm showing you the various pieces there. Therefore, our total for the IKEA Billy Oxburg combo with the Home Depot rack is $1,259.72. What a savings. Can you see that? So I think the Pottery Barn one is more beautiful. If you have the budget, definitely get that one if you need a console and you have an abundance of wine. But otherwise, you could save a lot of money. I also think, and I should say this for safety purposes, Billy bookcases need to be uh, put on the wall with special um, hardware that they give you, but you can also ask for extra. I would put technically wine bottles or anything heavy at the bottom of it. You wouldn't want it at the top, but to mirror this design, that's why I positioned it that way. And it is a beautiful mirror of the design, isn't it? I really think we accomplished a lot here today. We saved a lot of money, found gorgeous dupes, and just explored these fabulous new designs and new products that Pottery Barn has launched recently. So I thank you for watching. I hope you come back soon to Happiest Places Home. My favorite thing is to hear your comments and to find out what's on your mind. So please feel free to take a minute and leave a comment on this video. And as every YouTuber says, if you can like, share, and subscribe, that would be wonderful as well.